So, Kamala Harris's friend, Elizabeth Warren, got roasted by a Marine. In America, looking like the death of America. I'm going to get to that story. I'm going to get to that story in that video. But first, but first, I need you to detonate that subscribe button. Like, detonate that subscribe button. Subscribe to me, the Marine Rapper. I do news, military politics, and music reactions every single day. So, you want to keep it locked. You want to keep it locked. So while you're hitting that subscribe button, I am going to shrink myself down. Honey, I shrunk the kids. And we're gonna watch this video together. Three, two, one, let's go, G.I. Joe. That was <laughs> Uh that was corny. Who cares? Let's go. So Republican and Marine Corps veteran John Deaton secured a victory. And this week's Massachusetts Senate primary with John Dean, hoorah, hoorah, John Dean. I see you. Hey, re keep representing for the Marine Corps, the Marine Corps. I love it, John Deaton. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it grooving. Let's get a whole bunch of Marines in there. Qualified. Let's get some Marines in there. Some Marines in there. We need more of that. We got the JD Vance. We got the uh, John Deaton. Yeah, we got Johnny uh, Joey. We we got some we got some good people floating around in the media and the uh, yeah yeah we got some good ones let's go more than sixty percent of the vote he's now set to take on longtime Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren and says it's time to hold her accountable John Dean joins us now so John I asked you you know looking at polling data and how things run in Massachusetts you know why are you different and you told me what. Well, I'm first, I'm different because of my life experience. I come from extreme, se severe poverty, uh, growing up in one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in America, inside of a subsection of Detroit. I've served in the Marine Corps. Uh, I'm the Rah. living dream. When you look at me, Lawrence, I am the living, breathing embodiment of the American dream and everything that's possible in a great free country like ours. And I got in this race because I see that dream dying because you have these elites like Elizabeth Warren. They sit back, hyper-partisan people, and they fuel division so that they can stay in power. And people are tired of it, and I think they're ready for change, and I'm going to bring that change to Massachusetts. So yep. they typically vote solid blue. You say that you're not a partisan, though. What do you mean by that? Well, my loyalty is going to be to Massachusetts in America. I served in the Marine Corps. I took an oath. I know what that oath means to serve your country. And so Elizabeth Warren is loyal to the Democratic Party. She's loyal to her agenda and her own political motivations and ambitions. I will have one test in the United States Senate. Is it good for Massachusetts and America? If it is, I'm all in. And if it's not, it's not. And that test and that loyalty is what's going to separate us. So a lot of the things that Elizabeth... Sounded clear to me. Sounded clear to me. Honor, courage, commitment. Semper Fidelis. Seems like he still got it. I love it. I want to see. I want to see it happen. I actually. I'm interested now. I'm like, yo, where is he actually going to be giving rallies? Where is he going to be giving speeches? Um, is there any campaign parties? I want to head to them. I'm gonna be there with my La Croix or LA, you know what I mean? The, the sparkling water or something. La Croix, is that how you say it? Is it La Croix? I don't know. Hey, you guys let me know. Is it La Croix or La Croix or whatever? <laughs> it's funny because it's like, if you don't drink that, you drink liquor. So it's liqueur or liquor. And if you drink sparkling water, it's La Croix. So it sounds still like liquor. You let me know, Chad. I need to know. Anyways, I got off topic. Listen. We're having fun here. Let's keep going. I want to see what Deaton has to say. Ben Warren stands for, she got a lot of support within your state. And it's a lot of the things that the country at large has rejected when it comes to the border, Medicare for all, all of these programs. Are you going to run against those ideas? Well, sure. I'm, I'm running on the American dream and what I've done in my life. Listen, 64 percent, this is what people don't know about Massachusetts, 64 percent are actually independents. They're called unenrolled voters, not Republican or Democrat. And there's a big difference now. You know, Massachusetts has become a border state. We have a right to shelter law. So we have to house the migrants. Doesn't require residency that was passed in the early 80s and feed them. It's bankrupting the state. It's over a billion dollars has been uh, 
of taxpayer money has went to house the migrants. It's bankrupting the state and inflation. Massachusetts is now the second most expensive state to live in, in the country. Regular people are being priced out of the economy. Those two big issues didn't exist six years ago. And Elizabeth Warren is losing support every day because of her hyper-partisan politics and her loyalty to just a particular agenda. Real quickly. I like that. I like his alliteration. Hyper-partisan politics. Say that five times fast, chat. Hyper-partisan politics, hyper politics. I can't, I have already messed it up. I've already messed it up, chat. All that rapping I've been doing. Chat, let's see if you can do it. Hyper-partisan politics, hyper-partisan politics, hyper-partisan politics, hyper-partisan politics, hyper-partisan politics, hyper-partisan politics. I did it, yay, whatever. Hey, chat, let's see if you can do it. Oh man, that was a tongue twister, wasn't it? Do you think you're going to get any national support from the Repu Senate Republican Committee or anything like that? Are they going to back your race? Or do they think it's winnable? Well, listen, I, I've already proved I won the primary by 65 percent. Big showing. People are coming together. And when, when I, my biggest obstacle, Lawrence, is in Elizabeth Warren. I've challenged her to five debates. I relish when I stand on that debate stage toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. It's the perception of Massachusetts. Oh, it's liberal and she can't be beaten. Once I break that perception, Perception, I have no doubt that people are going to come to me. And if I, if you don't mind, John Deaton for Senate.com, I need their help. I that was slick. Hey, he's like, yo, let me get a plug up in there. Hey, let me answer this question, but you might cut me off because I know how y'all news folks do. So, hey, John Deaton, uh, <laughs> I like that. He threw he threw the little call to action in there just in case they cut it off because they do that on the news. They cut it off can win this race. I wouldn't yep. be in it if I couldn't. John, it's a pleasure. Thank you for your service. Thank you. We'll be following your race. I like that. Thank you for your service, John. Hold on. Let me get let me get that. Let me get that call to action one more time because they're about to call, cut them off. Let me get that call to action. I don't know. I had some like, have you ever had like an eye booger or eye crust get up in your eye and stuff and it'd be creeping and crawling? That's what just happened beaten once i break that perception i have no doubt that people are going to come to me and if i if you don't mind john deaton for senate.com i need their help john deaton for senate.com he needs everybody's help so if you want to vote for a fellow devil dog like me and you're in the mass state definitely make that happen Anyways, chat, let me know what you think about it. I need to grow up because I'm just losing my mind. Okay, my mind's back. So, if you have not already, make sure that you detonate that subscribe button. The subscribe button is here. You hit it like so. Bam. Subscribe to me, The Marine Rapper. I do political news, military, and music reactions every single day. So you want to keep engaged. You want to keep it locked on this channel all the time, every day because I have lots of content. And without that, you're not gonna know what's happening, right? Right. If it wasn't for, anyways, I'm out.